All right, the first item on my list is the Centipede work holder from Bora, and it changed how I cut plywood in the shop. With a piece of rigid foam insulation on top, this becomes an amazing place for you to use your circular saw or your track saw because the blade has a safe place to go as you're cutting. The centipede allows you to cut your ply at a comfortable height and not bent down on your knees trying to cut on the shop floor. This actually sped up my process because I can walk freely around my work, marking and cutting things from any angle. And then when I'm done, I can just fold it all back up and store it out of my way. Oh, by the way, there are links to all the products that I'm talking about in this video in the description below. Next up on the list is, well, not the drill, but what's on the drill. This is a countersink drill bit from Amana Tools, and this thing is awesome. Why? Well, it does two jobs at once, and who doesn't love that? You can drill your pilot hole and countersink it at the same time, and it's got this nifty big stop collar thingy that stops rotating when you bottom out so you know you're done. And you can adjust the drill bit and the countersink independently based on whatever the project is that you're working on. This thing is awesome. It's a huge time saver. I love it, and I think you ought to have one in your shop. All right, next up on the list is a cordless trim router. And I can't say enough how much a cordless router is a game changer in the shop. One of the biggest pains of using a handheld router is always paying attention to where that stupid cord is making sure that you don't get it wrapped around the router, making sure that you don't run into it with the router bit, when all you wanna do is pay attention to your work to make sure you get that done safely and accurately. Well, a cordless router takes that problem away. This one from DeWalt is awesome. It's a little bigger, a little heavier than most of your trim routers, but I think it's still plenty maneuverable. It's also more powerful, so it can get more jobs done than your typical trim router. And here's the other feature that I really like about it. Do you see how fast that bit stopped? As soon as I turned off the power, the brake stopped the bit immediately. One of the things that you have to pay attention to when you're using a handheld router and you lift it up off your workpiece is where's that bit and what's it doing? Well, you don't have to worry about that with this router. And that's why I think this one should be on your list. All right, guys, so next up on the list is an item that I think is a quiet hero in the workshop, and that is a digital angle gauge. Now these things are super accurate, really handy, and they're not expensive, so there's really no reason why you shouldn't have one. It's got a nice magnetic base on it, so you can stick it to your saw blade when you need to set a bevel angle, or you can stick it to the side of the saw to store it away, that way you always know where it is next time you need it. And you can also use it to set the angle on your miter saw, your joiner fence, anything that's metal that you can stick a magnet to, it works. This is definitely an item that I think you should have on your list. All right, now the next item up on my list is probably the strangest looking item on the entire list, and that's the TSM-12 pocket hole machine from Castle. Now the first thing you may notice is that this thing doesn't look anything like your typical drill pocket jig. The TSM-12 is a seriously efficient pocket cutting machine that has changed how I cut pocket holes in the shop. This machine uses two routers to cut the pocket as well as a pilot hole for the screw all in one easy motion. You can see here when I push back on the lever, one router bit swings up cutting the pocket and when I pull the lever forward, another bit drills the pilot hole. The result is a very clean pocket with no debris left inside. And the ease of use makes this machine very quick at cutting lots and lots of pockets in my cabinet parts. Now you can also use a guide clamped to the table to cut pockets in thin parts like these face frame pieces. Besides making super clean pockets, the other advantage to this pocket cutting machine is the angle of the screw is much shallower than a typical 15 degrees of a drill pocket jig. That matters because these screws are going in almost parallel to the work, which virtually eliminates the dreaded pocket hole creep, which is what happens when your work pieces move slightly as you fasten them together. You can see here that I'm just using my thumb as a clamp, which I would never attempt to do with a 15 degree drill pocket hole. Next up is an item that I think is essential in any workshop, and that's a good tape measure. But this lefty righty model from FastCap is the one that I think is the best. It's in black and white, so it's really high contrast and easy to read the numbers. And you can also put it on the left side of your workpiece or the right side. I don't know if I did that the right way. But you can read it from both sides, no matter how you put it against your workpiece, so the numbers are always facing you and easy to read. Now I've got like four or five of these in my shop because I think they're so handy. But if you're a metric head, they've also got this model that has metric on one side and standard on the other. So they've got you covered there as well. 
and that's why these are on the list. All right, so next up on the list is the cabinet hardware jig from True Position Tools. Now in 2020 and 2021, I did a lot of cabinet projects, and that means I did a lot of door pulls and drawer pulls, and that's where this thing really shines in helping you get those things placed exactly where they need to be over and over again. It's got these adjustable positive stops on the side as well as the top so that you can get the jig positioned exactly where you need to on your workpiece. And it's got these adjustable drill guides so that you can measure the exact width of your drawer pull holes. When you drill those holes, it's gonna place that drawer pull exactly where it needs to be. And it doesn't matter if you've got one or 50 of those things to make, this is gonna put them in the exact same place every time. This is an awesome jig. I really love it and that's why it's on the list. All right, so next up on the list is another interesting looking item and that is a mag switch. You don't know what a mag switch is? Well, let me show you. This is a mag switch. If you turn the little switch on top, it becomes a super strong magnet. Turn the little switch off and it's back to being a paperweight. These guys are so handy for use with any saw that you have that has a cast iron top. You can use them at the end of your cuts on a bandsaw like a positive stop for repeatable plunge cuts and you can buy or even make your own accessories like feather boards or fences. These guys eliminate the dependency on the miter slot if you don't have one or if it's too far out of reach for the task you're trying to accomplish. I've even used mine just as stops to keep something from sliding around like when I'm flattening the top of this butcher block. I use these things all the time. Now I really like these little square ones because they've got nice square flat edges that you can use as positive stops if you're cutting something at a table saw or a band saw. But they also sell these smaller, little bit cheaper versions that go inside of a number of jigs like hold downs or feather boards that you can use on any number of tools as long as you've got a cast iron top. These things will stick to it. All right, we're in the home stretch. There's only a couple more items to talk about. And next up on the list is a good set of Brad Point drill bits. Now, this is another item that I think is essential for any woodworking shop because Brad Point bits, ow, are different than regular twist bits because they've got these pointy little brads on the end that help you do super accurate, clean work in wood. Now, this 29 piece set from Fish goes from a 16th of an inch all the way up to a half an inch and all the odd sizes in between so that you always make sure you have accurate sized pilot holes for whatever your project requires. And it comes in this nice handy dandy case that organizes all your bits and keeps them in one place. So yeah, that's on my list. Okay, so item number 10 is last, but definitely not least, and that is a good T-square. Now this little four inch model from Peck Tools is my favorite because it's so small. I really don't think you need one any bigger than this for everyday shop use. I can slide it in my pocket, in my apron, leave it on my table saw fence. It doesn't get in the way. And it's small enough that I can get it into just about any project to make sure that it's set up square. I use it for a tool setup when I need to set my jointer fence square or table saw blade square. This is a great tool for that. It's just a nice little tool to have hanging around the shop at all times. And I think you'll be glad that you have one. 